Our consumer watchdog got an earful at a Lake Worth restaurant after the state shut down the restaurant's kitchen for what they found inside. News Channel 5's Jen Strathman explains. Bagels and then some. Egg and bacon. You can get anything from breakfast to dessert at the Hypoluxo Road Bagel Shop in Lake Worth. I would eat off my floors here. That's how clean it is. But a state inspector had a different opinion, shutting down the restaurant for rodents. This is very upsetting to me. And if you think for a minute, if I don't have a problem that I don't take care of it, you're out of your mind because that's what I do. Okay? We're in business to make money, obviously not to hurt ourselves. The state inspected the kitchen after a customer said they got sick. That allegation frustrated a waitress. Wouldn't have just been one person. Think about that. One person wouldn't have gotten sick. But they came in and they obviously saw the rodent and then the roaches. Did they? Did they physically say that they saw anything? One dropping they found. No, they found 20. One dropping they found, which made them go in the ceiling. But inspectors told a different story, saying they found 20 droppings by a bagel slicer, 10 near dry storage shelves, and 5 to 10 on boards used to store bagels. Do you think I want to be in a place that has uh, rodents or bugs? I, I mean, come on. The restaurant blames the issue on the landlord. They need to do what they need to do to uh, fix this whole shopping center because it, it's, it, they're out there. They're out there. Nobody else in here has been shut down, though. Um, good for them. The restaurant is back open. The State Department of Health said they got no other complaints of people getting sick at the bagel shop, and they're not sure what caused the illness. Anytime the state gets a complaint like this, they do an inspection. In this case, what they saw led to the temporary shutdown. Now, want to see what inspectors found at your favorite restaurant? Go to WPTV.com watchdog. I'm Consumer Watchdog Jen Strathman, fighting for you.